guys, Renee with Bargain Hunter Thrift Store here. Behind the camera, we got Casey, we got the lovely Tatiana down here. Hi. Which is slowly starting to get into sports carts. We have some really, really cool stuff that we're going to talk about. We're going to do some unboxing. I'm going to show you products that we got in. But we're also going to do, we're probably going to wrap a couple things. We're going to do this in just a second. These should be soccer carts from Germany. This is brand new Panini product that's going to the store in a weekend. This has a $3,000 card in it. Super cool card. Did you just say $3,000 card? $3,000 card. Then I just got this stuff in. So for the store, you know, so we post these now local, local face crew pages and stuff like this. And people, and you guys, anybody who collects cards, you know the Mosaic product is super hot. And people saying, like, they can even comments like, oh, you the guys that buy everything at Walmart or Target. Guys, I haven't bought a single pack at Walmart or Target forever. I go check sometimes when I'm... He goes and checks, but he can't find anything because everybody else is buying it up. Yeah, my friend just bought some people were fighting over it. So, like, I'm obviously not going to do this. How do we do business? How does a businessman do it? So, obviously, it's a high-in-demand product, okay? And, yes, guys, I am make profit on sports cards. This is America capitalism, blue-blooded American, okay? I love it, okay? Profit capitalism is my favorite thing. So what we do, we buy these for 35, we sell them for 50. Yes, I know sometimes you can get them five, ten dollars cheaper on eBay, but the price is just skyrocket. These I sold these for 39.99 last week. Now they're for uh, what are these? I just said 49.99. Yeah, so 49.99, and they constantly sell. Okay, I don't have to do nothing. People go out there to try to find them. They come flip them to me. These boxes right now, I'm paying 50 bucks a piece. Uh, and we sell them for um, are these the red ones? Let me see. Yeah, these are the hangers. So we sell these right here for detailed autographs, blaster, okay, the orange ones, yeah. So we sell these now. We just upped the price to $69.99. And then these right here, I made a mistake. And that's because the market is bearing that. It's not because you're gouging people. It's all about supply and demand. So these I normally pay 20 but I paid the guy 25 today. I made a mistake. Uh, we sell these for $29.99. Now, you can find these on eBay sometimes for as low as 20 bucks shipped. But uh, we actually did order a couple just to check them out. And they ship them in an envelope, so these, these are like right the cards. So if you buy these for twenty bucks shipped on eBay, good luck trying to get good good, good condition cards. Um, we'll carry more of these. They're supposed to be really good stuff. I think we're also gonna open one of these. Well, we're gonna open this yeah, one. Yeah, really Sorry. good stuff. Yeah, <laughs> that's probably the Joe Burrow rookies four signed one out of ones. So, but when people say this, look, it's just business. And the reason we carry these because kids come in our store with their parents, and trust me, the kids don't care if the parents pay forty bucks or sixty bucks. They're super happy that they can actually find it. And it makes people come to our store. So now they see this, they buy toys. And trust me, we get sometimes people come in, I want two plastic boxes mosaic, and they run out because they can't wait to get them home. But it's just a service we provide in our store because unless you want to go fight at Walmart and go check seven times a day every day, you're just not going to find them. And didn't George get in a fight? <laughs> George didn't get in a fight. Well, he, this kid pushed him. So it was really funny. They were in line. And George was already in line for an hour and a half. He was the first. And this kid was behind him, and he's like... You know, it was like a gangster wannabe type of thing, you know, tough guys to think they're tough. Now, my friend George did 20 years in the Marine Corps. Uh, you know, he looks really jolly and funny and everything, but he did 20 years in the Marine Corps, battle hard, and he was with the first troops inside of uh, Baghdad. You know, he can tell you stories about guard guarding Saddam's um, palace. He kept the young Marines in check, make sure they were all behaving, you know. So that dude has seen some things, and this little gangster wannabe dude, he's like in the back, he's like, oh, I know one thing, if anybody grabs everything, that just happened at Walmart, I'm gonna just punch him in the mouth. So, you know, he knows and stuff like this, because he does have PTSD, so we don't want to trigger his ass. <laughs> uh, he just ignores and stuff like this. And then he goes, he's open, so he's going, he's taking some stuff, and this guy just pushes him because he wants to mosaic. So George is a big fella, you know, and he's strong too and stuff like this. So as he pushes me, he just pushes back, and the dude just falls, he loses all his product, and then he tries to say stuff, you know, and then, they call, then the kid calls the manager, which, you know, it's always the hardcore people, they talk all this trash until it comes down to it, and they call the police, you know. But um, it's stupid, guys. Do not do that. Do not fight over baseball cards. Just come to Bargain Hunters. Just come to Bargain Hunters. You get a great price and a good experience. Yeah, it's a good experience. And I don't do it, obviously, because I'm on TV and, you know, people would love it. It's like, I got it, Renee, you know. They just talk I heard the you. whole, oh, wait. I heard the whole phone call. There we go. And it was really funny because it was really bad. Well, like, George, this 19 year old kid. Watch well, out, George. You know, it's not worth it. That kid is probably a loser. You know, he's flipping a few cards, buying them for 20, selling for 50. It's like, it's not worth it. You know, George has stuff to lose. Did you really? just call the de uh, my generation a loser 
any any generation that pushes an older man for some uh, basketball cards, yeah, it's a it's a loser. They are lucky that this is generations of cell phones because in the old day you probably get an ass whooping. And then if any police officer says anything, it's like, well, I don't know, he'd be here at me. I don't I don't know what happened to him. He the tripped. guy's bleeding, he's missing two arms and has no teeth. I don't know. Tripped. He must have tripped. <laughs> yeah. Now the problem is like when you defend yourself, you have uh, 765 cell phones pointed at you. And uh, whoever, you know, you're automatically the guilty one. Your career can be ruined by a single well, Twitter. See, like when I say buying stuff online, so I bought this in Germany. The guy sent this pretty crappy in an envelope. Wow. <laughs> I bought this because I just thought they were gold. He came all the way from Germany and he just has it like that. He just sent me a VW card. I have no idea why because I did not buy that. Maybe he put it... Oh, he's using that as packaging material. As packaging material. Check this out. Franz Beckenbauer. Ooh. So the cards, and that's actually signed by him. Very handsome. Yeah, well, he's, he's probably... Uh, he's one of the top three uh, German soccer players of all time. You got uh, Beckenbauer... Oh, man, I'm, I'm tired. I've been working all day long. Mayo or something. I, I should have him too. And then another guy, so way before one generation. And then these, I think these are, oh no, these, so these are German cards from the 1930s before World War II. I didn't pay very much for these. Like, I think for all these, I paid like 40 or 50 bucks. Oh, Gerd Müller. And then this one is, um, oh, that's another Beckenbauer. I think this is 1966. This is the best card. Franz Beckenbauer, Hamburg Sports Fine, Bayern München, Helmut Schön. So I don't want to hand these too much because I like them. So we'll put these aside. I washed my hands. And these are just German cards from pre-World War II. And a lot of these signatures that you see, these are actual signed pre cards. Pre-World War II, that's pretty cool. And look at yeah. what great condition they're in. Yeah, I'm going to be honest. I didn't tell you this, but I kind of just bought these myself. I'm actually going to send I these know. into SGC, get these graded. I know. And I think they're super cool. I think this one's the most valuable car. Yeah, he used this as actually. See, that's why I say, guys, sometimes, and that's why a lot of people come to our store because you buy stuff online. I mean, actually, I spent some money with this guy. And his packaging material is like a couple of postcards on an international order. Huh. I'm like, um. He's lucky they came out as. I thought he was being oh, nice. Oh, this is the original package for Kicker Build Vex, still with these little ones. I'm going to put this aside. Which is kind of, it's crappy, but whatever. I mean, I, I don't think these cards are crazy value. The Beckenbauers will be cool. But I just kind of bought this for myself. Should we do this? Let's look at the Panini product first and look at the three dollars yeah. I thought he was being nice and sending a postcard since we bought it internationally. <laughs> That's what I thought it was at first. She's all, oh, how sweet. No, I thought like he was sending a postcard to be nice because we were buying internationally. Are you making fun of me right now? So no. Guys, I don't even know if this is an original 96. It's Knorr in the back, which is a very famous soup maker. But I mean, it's still cool. We it's still know that here in America. Yeah, it's still signed by him, so it's a super cool piece. I have to put this in an eight by ten autograph holder. But it's funny, so you can see obviously the Germans put a different value on trading cards. And the way I found this stuff, I actually went on eBay Germany, translated it, uh, and just started buying some stuff. So, but obviously I have some other. I, I could swear I have some other back and power stuff coming, and I also bought a couple of Garrett Millers. But if you guys have any PSA 10 Beckenbauer from Germany or Miller, I'll buy them from you. That was just one on eBay for 500 bucks I missed. I would have bought that. So people ask me what I collect. So like I like cool things like that. But they just kind of remind me, you know, so um, when I was a child and stuff, those guys were heroes. Okay, we're going to look at the Panini product first. Then we're going to look at the $3,000 card. And then we're going to open up one of the cell packs. Maybe a hanger. I don't know. We'll open up a couple things just for fun. But yeah, I like those. Yeah. So this Panini product right here, I think this box uh, cost me $18.50. $1,850. Yes. Not $18.50. No, so I paid $185 bucks a piece for these. These are Zenith football. They're super cool. Um, I don't know. Eventually, I might open one of these. I don't know. We'll see. But um, they only have, I think, like, so let me see, two autographs, one rookie patch autograph, six cards per box. These will be available in the store for 250 bucks a box. How many boxes did you get? There's a dozen in here. Uh, uh, actually, you know, no, yeah, there's a dozen in here. So, yeah, are you so, sure? Yeah, no, this. Doesn't look like that much. I'm like, 1850, what? But in any case, a dozen boxes. So, um, you know, and I could keep them close and sell them as a sealed case if I want to resell them. But I, I, I kind of buy a lot of this product for my customers. All right, guys, it's time. The $3,000 card. So is that like uh, one card or what are you talking about here, dude? It's one card. I didn't pay three thousand. Oh, okay. I'm like, what? This came from the hoarder house. I had it graded with SGC because I just like the way it looks in the holders. 
Which hoarder house? We've lost so many. The comic book hoarder house. So you guys can go back to our old videos, comic book hoarders. It's a very good question, Tanya. Thank you. Let's be really careful with the back and bottom numbers about that, even though it's probably least valuable. I like it. I have to protect those. And then, uh, so, and the grade is only a 1.5. I'm not sure if I'm going to sell this card yet. This might just go in my collection. I'm not sure. And one just sold for 2900 but that was a month ago. And if you guys, anybody who follows basketball prices, they just shoot through the roof. So it's a basketball card? Mm-hmm. I don't I'm even know what this is. I'm like, what is this? What do you... It's a cool card. I, I know you sent like, stuff, but uh, you didn't comments. show me. So there's only one person in history to score 100 points in a game. Uh, Michael Jordan. Nope. I think Michael Jordan or uh, Kobe. Pistin Pete. Pistin Pete Maverick? Yeah. No. I don't know what his high was. How do you even know that? I had to watch the movie at PE on rainy days. We watched it twice. So, <laughs> my dad asked me that last time I talked about it. I'm like, wow, he's I was all cool. impressed. Was he's, just... he's pretty cool, you know? He could spin the basketball on his finger to impress the girl he liked. Mm. I have respect. Who is it? What is this? Michael dun, Jordan? Dun, dun. Shaq O'Neal. Nope, I don't like to put the invoice like this. Just, oh, come on. I don't like that. But I like SGZ. They, they, their products are becoming really good. So like, I got a lot of cards with them right now. But I'm going to pull it out because this is messed up. Who is it? Will Chamberlain. Oh, Will Chamberlain. We should have known that one. <laughs> he's the only guy in history ever to score 100 points in an ABA game, uh, NBA game. And I think actually when he scored it, I don't even think it was the NBA. I think it was the ABA and the NBA. But I don't know if Philadelphia was part of the NBA. I didn't know there used to be an ABA, American basketball. Yeah, so there used to be two two, two things and they combined the same thing with football. It, at least if my memory's right, I'm getting old, I'm starting to mess up stuff, but it, it happened in you know, American Football League, National Football League, and that's why you have AFC, NFC, and I think the same thing was in the NBA. But don't quote me on this, I'm, I'm probably totally wrong. And well, let's people, see what the back looks like. And people, and see, one of the reasons it had that stupid mark, like somebody marked it in the back, number one. Oh. That hurts, and then they put an A right here. Otherwise, it would be a much higher graded card. Mm. But I mean, it's still a beautiful card. So like, I mean, I, I'm pretty sure I can sell this card for 3000 mm. But it just keeps on going up. But like, I like putting valuable stuff aside. So I'm not sure yet. Uh, if you guys have an interest in that, email me Crazy Office, Renee, Bargain Hunter, Thrift Store. Don't bother to email me less than 3000 though. So you're wasting your time. So do you think Will Chamberlain is the best basketball player then? Different generations, different games, you know. But I mean, he's... I mean, think about it. A basketball game is, what, 48 minutes? You score 100 points. So what's that? You have to score at least 50 baskets. So you have to score a basket like every 45, every 50 seconds. Whoa. It's pretty fast, right? Yeah. So. Especially half the time you would think the other team has the ball. I wonder what the ratio was of him earning two points and three points. Oh my gosh, it's like a math equation. <laughs> I think most of his baskets were two points. I don't think Will Chamberlain was a huge three-point shooter. Okay, now... We're gonna go here. We're gonna pause the video for a second. A little bit of bonus footage. Fun Speck and Bauer in 1966. So that's gonna go to my friends at SGZ. I have them grade that right away. And then these are 1938. Der Kicker. Niederbacher. Number 210. These are all soccer cards from 1938, Germany. And so a lot of these guys play Bundesliga, and then some of these guys won national teams. And you guys can see, I had to cut these cases on the side a little bit because they're older cards, so I don't want to force them in there. So I just cut the cases right here and I just kind of gave it enough support. <clears throat> I usually send at least 100 cards at a time to SGC, so these will go in a box as soon as we have 100 cards, we'll get these over. This is the uh, package they were in. Serie 1, Kick Up Build Back. So we'll probably have that graded, authenticated too, just not really for the grade, just to authenticate. It's kind of cool. It's basically a wax pack from 1938. It's not really wax, but you get the idea. A 
That's a cool card. I think all the stuff is in the back. It's the same. Uh, I'm just reading it, sorry. Yeah, 1938. Kind of cool. And that's just the names G. Wellhofer. Kind of cool stuff. So, this is Tatiana's favorite product, Mosaic Basketball. You enjoy these the most, right? You like the Origins a lot too, right? I don't remember. Yeah. So, by the way, some guys said that the Origin boxes at 400 were high because they didn't know the difference between regular hobby boxes and first of the line. We had 16 Origin boxes. Right now, how many do we have left? Zero. Zero. Everything wow. is sold. The last stuff that got gone today. Um, we made a nice profit on that too. We got to open up some boxes. Unfortunately, our boxes kind of suck, but that's okay. Unless the Morgan guy comes and becomes a killer quarterback, they will make more money on it, but yeah. we'll see. So this is a really cool product. This is the uh, Jello pack or Cello pack. So what you do, you get three regular packs, which are hobby packs, or actually two packs, plus you get the bonus pack. And the bonus pack is pink cards, which you only get in these. And somebody told me that these packs are like, this one feels heavy, it's funny. S somebody told me that these packs are like super, they're supposed to, people have been hitting really good. So, Joe Burrow, we really want two of our own collection. And we want the autographs and maybe like a one one or something. That'd be crazy, right? One yeah. A one by one would be crazy. I'm going to streaking down the road. <laughs> I don't know what anything you're saying, but. Uh, it just means just it's one card out of one. So, carry on Johnson. Okay. So, that just must be base cards. Oh my gosh! Jermaine Edmonds. Nope. I really wanted him. Oh, uh, Tom Brady. I mean, it's actually a card people are buying. Yeah. Here's an insert. Tredavious White, Buffalo Bills, running back. Adrian Peterson with the Redskins still, but now he's in Detroit, obviously. Oh, we got a rookie. Washington. So the Washington rookie we want would be Chase Young. It's Chase Young. All right. That's Ooh, a good rookie. Yeah. So, I mean, it's nothing great. I mean, it's, it's probably just this big. Man, these cards have a lot of damage. You see all this damage right here? Oh, In yeah. the cello packs. Why? So, the hobby box, is, it's just from the factory directly. So, that hurts grading right there. Oh, man. So, okay. We got another pack. Oh, what's the other pack? Clean it like you committed a murder. Take every little step. Very tiny and... Yeah, so, but some of the stuff has just inundation from the factory. So, you, can't, you don't even know if you can just fix it. Just no much. evidence, you know? <laughs> Okay, another pack, so... Miss Cheryl can fix it, right? She can whittle away. She probably away. can, yeah. <laughs> J.J. Watt? Okay, Seems like almost go. everything that we're opening, we pull J.J. Watt. Kyle Fuller. Curtis Martin. Does he even still play anymore? I don't even know if he plays anymore. Jared Goff in his... Um, that's like a throwback uniform, I think. I don't think that's the current uniform. Eli Manning. Touchdown. He, he's retired, too. I'm surprised he's still in this set. And then, um, yeah, it's Adrian Peterson. And then Pro Bowl Kenny Colliday. No rookies in this pack. Eh, it's okay. All right, now we're going to look at our bonus pack. This is where the money's at. So if we're going to have our big hit, we really want it in here. Because these are pink cards, and you can only get it in this. There's going to be three pink cards in there. We want just we want a Joe Burrow rookie, a Herbert rookie, and a two-a rookie. Imagine getting all, all three, three in the same pack. That's what I'm saying. People are right now like, oh, he's crazy. He's asking for so much. He's an idiot. He knows nothing about the hobby. But how crazy would it be if we get it? I don't care what I get out of these. It's just fun that we're doing it with Tatiana because she enjoys doing it too. So We so enjoy it, but the sad thing is you say the players and we're like, are we supposed to be excited? <laughs> are we supposed to be going, Woo! I just smile and nod like, wow. <laughs> yeah. Okay, how pretty are these? Oh, nice. Wrong player. Darius Leonard, though. Okay, that's not who we want. Michael Thomas, great player, but not a rookie. We want rookies. Yeah, I recognize that name. And Michael Irvin. Damn, no rookies, but a Hall of Fame player. So these are yeah, cool. Yeah, I recognize his name. Those are cool looking with the purple hologram. Pink. I mean, pink <laughs> hologram. Yeah, these pinks are funny. So do you want to you wanna open up one of these with the orange ones? I think those are my favorite. Those are your favorites? Doesn't that one come with the cool box? Well, how much can we sell it for? We sell them for 50. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Cards are expensive. We'll get the Chase Young rookie. So should we open one of these? Do okay. it. Do it. Do it. Okay, hang a box. So are you sure that's the lucky box? Which one's the lucky box? Do, do you want to uh, Do you want to pull a lucky box? Yeah. Okay, which one do you want to pull? This way we can, I can play mute. <laughs> <laughs> okay, 
Why does this one look a different color? Uh, I think so. One of them is a Target exclusive. I think it's this one. I don't know if there's a difference. It's just, I, I don't, I, I think the box is just different. Okay. That one? Yeah. You sure that one? Yeah. Okay. Okay, well, here we go. Over there, because if we don't do good, by the way, you grind it. Oh, yay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, we <laughs> never open up one of these blasters. Really? Never. Here, let's open it. Okay. How much do we sell those for? 70. <laughs> is this the one with the cool box? What do you mean with the cool box? Cool oh, box. the black one? So, you know, I watched some videos. Some people had clear ones, but the ones we had had those black boxes. Now, so I don't know what the difference is. Those are my favorite. Yeah, so this has to, yeah, this box is. But it's funny, like a lot of the ones I saw where they were going in the black for some reason seemed to be better pulls. Mm -hmm. So, but I don't know. I've seen a bunch of people bust them and they were like just clear ones. Which is kind of weird. Careful, he's a pain in the butt to open. You're the one opening. I know who you're telling careful to. Tell myself. All right, guys. It's like our new family tradition of just opening cards. Here we go. All Woo right, so we got our base cards on top. Can you see good Yeah. Devin McCourty. Very good player. Yeah, but Patriots, I'm a Dolphins fan. Mm -hmm. Terry McLaurin, I'm trying to trade for him in my fantasy league right now as my number three. Sam Donald, Jets. I need him to get benched so we have a chance at the Morgan guy. So we have a chance if he can do anything. Mike Williams, good LA uh, receiver. Very good player. Aaron Jones, great player. Very good player. Tanya's making fun. Brian Burns. Ooh, I, have, I see a rookie card coming up in two cards. How do you know? Jeff Saturday. So because I can see the rookie. Oh, it's a Cincinnati Bengals too. We want Joe Burrow. So Joe it's got to be Tull Higgins Burr. or Joe Burrow. Joe Burrow, let's go. Let's Sorry, go. No. Here we go, baby. Oh, no, this is not. It's the next one. Uh, Odell Beckham. Oh, it's Cleveland. He looked like Cincinnati. Okay, well, it's good. It's not the rookie, though. So I, I, I could have sworn I saw the rookie shield. So, yeah, see the rookie sign right there? Rookie. What team is that? Who is it? Who is it? There's yellow. I can't read the team. Yellow and purple? The Commodore. So that must have been a CFL player. Really? What? Keishan Wan. Wan. Somebody got upset because I wasn't pronouncing the names right. I'm like, people, I barely speak English. You think I'm going to pronounce some of these weird-ass names? I, my name is Nasota, and I can say that because I have a weird-ass name. But I, I do the best, okay? <laughs> if you want English lessons, watch BBC. Okay, Keisha, I don't want... Oh, is another rookie? Okay, let's see the next one. Uh, okay, it's a Redskin. I don't know who he is. Antonio Gibson. Oh, I know him. Really? He's a rookie. I think so. Okay, now we got. Oh, we got a good. We got a good card. How do you know? How oh no, it's an insert. It's it's a good player, but I see he's a rookie. It. My chances of getting grounded and not, or keep on switching on and off. Actually, Josh Allen. I thought that was Josh Allen. The uh, you been fixing my hair? No, it's because your hair is going on the camera. Oh, it's Josh Allen. Uh, I thought it was the Buffalo quarterback. Okay, but that's an orange reactive. Here we want to find the rookies now. Okay, here we go. Teddy Bridgewater. Yeah. Peyton Manning, MVP. Oh, that's a good one. Eh. Alvin Kamara, good players. Last time we got lucky in this pack and we got the signature one. Oh, it's, it's probably my mom calling. Touchdown Ma Masters, Dalvin Cook Vikings. Who picked his box? Tatiana. Mm. Old school Thurman Thomas. He used to burn the Dolphins. That's actually a beautiful card. Okay, we got some rookies. Van Jefferson. Oh, he's good. Oh no, I'm saying that I'm getting my last name. So I'm mistaking the the um, Minnesota Jefferson guy. Dang, Tatiana, <laughs> you and I need to start doing research so we can keep up with that. That's a good one. CC Lamp, NFL rookie. KJ Hamler, eh, so so, but I'll take him. And then Aaron Rodgers MVP. That's a good one. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's an okay box. That was fun. So what should we else? Should we open up a blaster now? Because we never open up a blaster, or should we save that for another time? Yeah. Okay, we do? Casey, Tatiana's like, yeah. Yeah. I, you know, Ted, I shouldn't be asking Tatiana. Tatiana will be like, open it all. I mean, I only like the boxes that we open, the ones with, like, the cool box. The or origins? Yeah, because I, like, I don't like how these look. The yeah, typical. So whoever thinks about dating her one day, remember, she's into the $400 boxes, okay? so <laughs> She's expensive. Yeah. Like, you can't afford it. Okay, which box should we take? Just tell me which one. Renee tries to make sure nobody can afford her, so that way she won't have a boyfriend. Yeah, any young guys that are even thinking about it, I've been feeding her sushi and steak for the last 14 years. So <laughs> this is not going to be a cheap date. Right, Anna? Yeah. 
Tatiana's like, <laughs> if you cued McDonald's, it's fine. <laughs> McDonald's is fire. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what's in these special? I don't know. Uh, retail exclusive autocraft rookie scripts. Oh, they also have mostly or orange um, fluorescent, but they're not the reactor, so it's a different type of orange. Mostly parallels. Four per box average. All right. Let's check it out. So we just opened up, uh, let's see, retail value. We just opened up um, 70, 120. Oops. Just opened up 150 other the cards. Mm. Ooh. I like the boxes. That's a wow look at me. Ugh. It's just a steal. Ugh. They stuck it in there. Alright, so I think you got eight packs in there, right? Okay. Do you want to open my pack? Sure. Okay. Right, I'll have you open up the next one. Okay, John Brown. Charles Whitson. Brian Dawkins. Matt Ryan, special issue. Oh, Matt Ryan is nice. All right, come on here with my pack. It's amazing. I'm a Dolphins fan. I can't pull a freaking two-way to save my life. <laughs> All my friends, they were opening up the no huddle and every other card. Two-way, two-way, two-way. Okay, handle them careful. Well, actually, don't worry about it. I don't really handle them careful either. <laughs> Deshaun Watson. He's my in my fantasy league. He's been sucking so far. Why are they so thick? Charles Tillman. They're so thick. Oh, that's a rookie. Henry Ruggs III. That's a good one. Oh, yes. Got and game. Josh Jacobs. He was my fantasy league last year. This one's this rookie is nice. Henry Ruggs III for all you Raiders fans. You know, actually, one of my uh, Storage Wars producers is a big... Um, actually, one of the business guys on the Storage Wars and is a big Raiders fan. I might just give him that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's going to like it. Okay, I'll open these. All right. Patrick Mahomes. That's always a good one. His cards are great. So that's a good one. Also in the store. Finally a Dolphins, Devontae Parker, but not the Dolphins that we want, but still, I'll take him. <laughs> it's an improvement. Are you going to hang it on your wall? Steve Young? No, but I'm... My losing team. Oh, here's a good one. A.J. Dillon, NFL debut. Debut. See how he just ignored you on that one? <laughs> how are the Dolphins doing this year? Uh, like every year, one and three. <laughs> <laughs> but they've been getting better. But they haven't played two out yet, so, which kind of makes me mad. I'm just like, play the kid. He's going to cut out my insult because he, his feelings were hurt. I feel like hurt. You're going to go to sleep eventually, right? Okay. <laughs> Make sure all the cameras in the house are turned off. There's cameras in the house? Cameras everywhere. DeAndre Hopkins. Terrell Davis and a rookie, Chase Claypool. So that's the guy we got the signature last time. So he's another great rookie. He's killing it right now. Oh, cool. And then we got a special orange. Please be a rookie. Will to win Josh Allen. Oh, yes. That's my favorite player. He's actually really good. He's Buffalo. Unfortunately, yeah, he's in Buffalo. really good. But it's a nice refractor. Then also somewhere we need to look for silver prisms too. Football is very interesting. Football is fun. I love watching football. Me too. Flag football's fun. Okay, there's another Josh Allen Buffalo Bills. This guy's on fire this year. Rob Kronkowski, he's washed up. <laughs> Mike Evans, he's not doing well. And Randall Cunningham, he's from my time period. We're not that good with hooding that many killer rookies. Have we had a rookie quarterback yet? No, I don't think so. Hey, you should see uh, these kid reporters. I don't know. I think you can go to a website and win stuff. I know you like doing stuff like this. So keep all these. Yeah, I yeah. love free stuff, man. Yeah. Wait, can I open those? You want to open one? Yeah. Ay, ay, ay. Jeez, I just. Well, no, because when I open them, it actually is lucky. You did pull the Henry Ruggs, I must say that. Yeah. I love my Will Chamberlain card. Okay, Devontae Adams. Devontae Adams, yes. They're so thick. It's like hard. Uh, Khalil Mack. Somebody was mad. They said the other day we didn't know who he was. I I know who he is, but his cards are not like major hits, you know. Lamar Odom. Lamar Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a nice one. Oh, did you hear that? Lucky. Kyla Murray, Kenyon Drake, Larry Fitzgerald, Flea Flicker. So there's a nice answer. But I mean, I don't think these cards are crazy, but they're nice. Then then an answer. We'll take it. Take All right, two piano. packs. Are you lucky? Yes, I am. Okay, you know what? We're going to open up one more pink pack. Because they're supposed I, to be really good. It says that I can win stuff, but I don't want to go to the Super Bowl. So can I just sell the tickets? You don't want to go to the Super Bowl. I'll yeah, take your just, tickets. Just say that I want. Yeah, look at your dad's like... Dude, 
And the next Panini Super Bowl Kid Report. Card well, you gotta be able to read the whole word. <laughs> Card <laughs> issue. <laughs> Report. <laughs> Soda. That's why I don't want to go if I win. I'll just sell the tickets. Gardner Minshew. <laughs> These are funny. Aaron Donald. George Kittle. A rookie. Damn, KJ Hamlin again, but a nice green insert. But the wrong rookie. I don't know. I, I don't think he's killing it or anything like that, but he has potential. Okay, I have to open up the last one. No. It, it's rolls. All right, I'll open that last one. It's rolls. It's not like I'm trying to show off my nail polish. <laughs> I know, all black, what do you like? It's Halloween oh, time. Elvira the Teenage Witch. Teenage Witch. <laughs> Who's that? Elvira? <laughs> you don't want to know. Miles Garrett. Okay, you just got the biggest contract for defensive player, I think. So that's a good one then, right? Jordan Hicks. It's not a rookie card thing. I mean, defensive players don't have that much value. DeAndre Swift. Yes, yeah, so a running back, a rookie. Old school John Elway. That's cool. Expensive. All right, we're going to open up one more of these. I'm going to open these three. Okay, here we go. So, Pink card. Because I don't think we... Last time it was so easy, we opened up one box and we got a Chase Claypool autograph. And now we haven't got nothing. We got some rookies, but nothing that exciting. Everybody's going to be like, cards are losers. But you know what? This is fun, so... And I'm making profit on everything else, so it doesn't really matter. Yeah, we're having good fun. And actually, like, fun. some of these cards that we'll put in my store, like, there's got to be kits in there, so I don't know what the Mahomes is worth, but I'm thinking at least 10 bucks probably. I'm going to have to look it up what's fair. And they're going to be so happy just to be able to buy these cards because they like certain teams, and they cannot afford to buy every pack. You know, it gets expensive, so at least they get a chance to buy some of the cards. And actually, we have a whole bunch of cards we're probably going to give away to kids, so. Aww. All right, let's see these two packs. People right. said there's good hits in there, supposedly. All right, here we go. The pink cards. All right. Emmett Smith. Nice. Legend. Very good. Mark Andrews, supposedly one of the best quarter. My friend said he's the best tight end in football. I'm still going to stick with Travis Kelsey. Aaron Donald. Warren Sapp insert, but it's Warren Sapp, unfortunately. Emmett Smith, another one touchdown. And a Lynn Bowden Jr. rookie card. I think he actually he got traded to the Dolphins, right? He's the guy that got in trouble. So, um. Oh, well, that must have not been good. I'm surprised the Dolphins signed him. So the Dolphins usually don't sign players like that. But they traded for like a sixth round pick and he was a third round pick, if my memory serves me right. I don't think it feels good to be traded. Hey, these guys make millions of dollars. Like, if you pay me millions of dollars, trade me every other week. I don't care. Just a first class <laughs> airplane ticket. Aaron Rodgers. Christian McCaffrey, big injury. I got so lucky because I did third round pick this year, and that was number one. Um, the Giants guy, Barkley, was number two, and then I got Seek at number three. Guess who's the only one that's not injured right now? I got lucky, Seek. And I would have taken McCaffrey. George Kittle. Adrian Peterson. Julian Edelman got game. And Bro Bowl card, Lamar Jackson. So it seems there's like one rookie in one of these packs. We just pulled a rookie at Andrew Swift, right? Was it? Oh, no, the Lynn Bowden Jr. So no quarterbacks. Our head's been sucking. You know what? Football player. Okay, I got three $600 boxes here. Let's open up those. <laughs> you know what? Football player I really hmm? uh, want to see. Renee Mazzotta. Yeah, that's not going to happen anymore. He used to play football. Yeah, many moons ago. Now it's going to be like a senior league. <laughs> 100 years ago, he used to play. Okay, so we got our three pur purple cards. Here's where we really want to hit our rookies. So, Allen Robinson, great receiver, but not what we're looking for here. Rod Woodson, Hall of Famer, great player, but not what I'm looking for here. And another Hall of Famer. T Terry Pratchett. I don't know what it is. I find Terry Pratchett cards in everything that I bust open. <laughs> so, actually, I met Barry Terry Pratchett once. He's special. But, um, yeah. That's it. So we opened some packs with you guys. If you enjoyed, I think we're going to start doing some box breaks with you guys. But we just had some exciting news coming up, too, that we'll talk about in a few weeks. But, um... Yeah, stay tuned. There's something exciting brewing. Yes, my hemorrhoid surgery is finally approved. <laughs> um, I don't know if, uh, if we'll have time to do card breaks, but we'll see. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. We opened a bunch of stuff. I don't think this was as good as the last one. Got a few rookie cards. I'm gonna go get sleeve all this stuff up right now. Hit the like button, subscribe. Don't forget our awesome Will Chamberlain. Tatiana has something to say, I, I can have, tell. I have something to say, yes. If, Speak. If you want to know what the good news are, and you're very excited, because I'm very excited, I think I know. 
Maybe I don't know. But click the notifications bell so then you get a um, little notification saying that the video comes out because we want to share. Official. We want to share the secrets with you. Yes. If, if stay tuned up. She just turned into BBC. What you do, good sir? You have a cup of tea. <laughs> Hit the notification button. All right. Thanks, guys, for watching.